Hi everyone, welcome back to Beats Podcast. So the company which I have bought today is agriculture based company. It has brands like Arogya Milk which is popular across Tamil Nadu and other parts of India. And it has uh, Arun Ice Cream which is popular among India. The current market price of this company is around 1200 rupees. But uh, the P is on the higher side, it is above 85 rupees. So as you said, uh, I have bought the metrics which one should consider as an investor when they are in the beginning stage of their investment. So, how do you look at this company, sir? So, what all did you see? You know, it's a Hudson Agro products. Yeah. They own Arun brand. Mm. They make all milk and dairy mm, related yeah. products. They are uh, in the, been in the business for over 30 years. Yes. They did their IPO in 2013. Mm, okay. So, you almost have a little over 10 years worth of data to look at. Mm. What is the 10 year average medium of their PE? 92.5. It's on the higher side. It's on the higher mm. side. It's always been on the higher mm. side. Correct. So always their earnings are being baked into their price. Mm. Meaning analysts are looking at it, feeling that this price needs to be taking into account future earnings mm. potential of this company. And they've been raising the PE at extraordinary levels compared to the earnings of the company. Mm. What about debt? So I have uh, revenue and total debt. Mm. The revenue for the 2022-23 year is Mm. 7,257 crores mm. and the total debt is 1,447 crores. So, that's a lot of debt. Yeah. The short term borrowings is what is really large, mm. which is due in a year. And the long term borrowings is also 926 crores. There's a lot of debt in this. But the reserves is only 1,550 crores. Mm. So, why do you like this company? Because uh, in our everyday lives, we use uh, milk, which uh, is commonly used by the people of uh, India. Mm. So, uh, Arogya brand is popular in Tamil Nadu. Mm. And a uh, curd brand they make, uh, which is called Hats and Curd. Mm. It is also very famous uh, in Tamil Nadu. Mm. So when I look at the company, the products which we use in our everyday lives. So when the company is making that, we can look at it for investing. But uh, looking at the metrics, uh, the PE is uh, on the higher side. Beyond higher side. Mm. Even if I take, let's say the median to be 92. Mm. And we are at 85. Mm. So maximum it can go is another five points right yeah the, the stock doesn't make sense to me and even if you look at its competitors only lt foods is uh, within the yeah, good but, range mm, i won't buy lt foods mm. that's a very small company i don't know this doesn't make sense to me mm. looking at the pe where it's standing at and uh, it being only a popular brand down south mm. i don't think it has a bigger presence up north yeah correct okay I wouldn't bet on this stock mm. if I had to bet. I mean, it's a great brand. It's a mm. brand recall is very high. Mm. And I also use this brand. So I don't question that. But in terms of as an investing at this point of time, entering this company right now, I'll have to wait because okay. it's just too expensive. And even the face value is one, even if the stock splits. No, no. See, if the stock splits, even your earnings yeah. per share splits. Mm. So price to earnings does not change just mm. because of stock split. The problem is the price has to come down. Mm. It has to be reasonable in its mm. pricing. So even if stock splits, your PE ratio does not change because price and earnings will move in tandem. Yeah. Right. So what you need is you need price correction to happen in this. And I don't see price correction happening in this stock because most of it is in held in promoters. If I is are hardly present in this stock. DIAs, yeah, DIAs are at almost 10% mm. and that is all mutual fund, SEBI mutual fund is sitting on it. So I really don't see any price movement coming down in the foreseeable future of this stock. I wouldn't bet on this. So what is your general view about the company which we use in our everyday lives but as an investment? That is a great way to start mm. because we do not know what companies to invest in. So mm. this is a great way for you to think about it. Mm. And I'm glad you picked a company which you use and everyone's yeah. using in your house. So you mm. immediately thought of it. And the way you approach this is also correct. Looking at the revenue and looking at the debt. Mm. But more than the revenue, all you first need to look at is the debt. It mm. does have debt. And then you look at the PE ratio. Mm. If you look at the PE ratio, this is crazy. Yeah. Promoter holding is good. Promoters, the guys who own the company are holding almost 75%. So mm. they have a lot of faith in this. They're not yeah. selling... There seems to be no liquidation of promoter holding. But in terms of growth, there's hardly any growth. Like if you look at the EPS growth for the last three years, it's a 2.7%, which is hardly anything for justifying this kind of price. Yeah. And the book value is only 70 rupees. 
and it's trading at almost uh, 20 times book value. Mm. So mm. I understand, but it's a great way to start. So you picked a company which you use, which you know, mm. the brand which you believe in, and uh, you explored it. But it's not worth buying. It's not for investment. Yeah. Mm. So bring another one tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Mm. We'll dive into that and see. Mm. Hudson, yes, great company, but we cannot buy it right now. Okay. So I hope that this video is informative and you had some knowledge about how to look at the company. So if you like this video and found it useful, please share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel for more videos. See you in another episode with an interesting topic. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.